All right, so well over $100 million are going to go towards reducing the wildlife danger all across Utah. Federal funding is putting a focus on certain areas to keep communities safer. New specialist Mike Anderson explains where that money will be spent and the type of work teams will do. The focus will be on forest land that impacts communities, businesses, and recreational areas. We've seen these efforts before to kind of burn and thin out the forest land, but never with the kind of funding that's coming down right now. It takes decades, even over a century, for our forests to grow to what we see now across the Mountain West. You into Wasatch Cache is one of those places uh, that has a high risk of cat fire affecting communities. Mary Farnsworth is our regional forester with the U.S. Forest Service. She says we'll see about $160 million over the next seven to ten years to help thin out our overgrown areas through methods like harvesting and burning. It means that we can do the work that we've been wanting to do around forest health because the investment uh, is at the appropriate size and scale for us to do that work. The kind of scale that they really haven't been able to do before. The state's a big place. There's a lot of work. Jamie Barnes, director and forester with Utah's Division of Forestry, Fire and State Land, says the effort will improve the overall health of the Uinta Wasatch Cache and Dixie National Forests, helping to also protect areas from invasive species and insect disease. I truly feel that we're in historical times to be able to start doing this. This is money that we've never had before to put on the landscape. Planning is already underway as we can see some of this work take place in the coming months. The two national forests getting this help here in Utah are huge, but the hope is to treat around 30 to 40 percent of the land. Throughout the West, the drought has caused us a great issue. And when you have a drought uh, and you have um, unhealthy forest conditions, it, it makes wildfires worse. And hopefully these big chunks of improvement will lead to lessened wildfire danger across Utah. In all, there's close to $500 million for 11 landscapes across the western U.S. This comes as part of the Bipartisan Infrastructure Law and Inflation Reduction Act and is expected to create hundreds, possibly even more jobs to get the work done. Mike Anderson, KSL 5 News.